What's up everybody and welcome back to another video. Today I wanted to introduce a new segment I want to bring to the channel and it's going to be called Tommy's Legos. If you guys follow me on, on the Tommy Clan Instagram page, link down below, you guys have noticed that I've recently have gotten back into collecting Legos. So Legos to me is a big, is a, played a big important role in my life as a child. It was a lot of fun, especially someone that grew up with not a lot of friends. Uh, gave me a lot of bonding experience with my dad, me and him building a bunch of Legos, Lego sets and everything. And I re and as you guys know, I recently got back into collecting, and I really wanted to bring collecting and building reviews and stuff to the channel. So this is this is the start of that. So the two I have here in, the, in this in this packaging are. The first two sets that I've ever gotten, and they are obviously Star Wars. So, another fun fact about Lego is that the only, the only Lego sets I've ever gotten are the Star Wars sets so far. And man, I gotta tell you, when I got started, started, got, just got started back into doing this, the amount of detail that go into these figures goes into the builds now. It's, it's insane. And as you guys know, in the pictures I post, you can see, it's like, it's pretty crazy. Like... And these, these sets here uh, that you're going to see is the skin color is the regular is the regular old fashioned yellow from the old from the old days. But now you got you know you know now you got the minifigures that match everyone that match you know the characters or person's skin color, which I think is really awesome. So that being said, let's dive let's dive into this first building for the first building this small set here. So I did pick these sets up at Brick, Brick Link, and they are used um, just because the deal that I got it was pretty in, in, inexpensive and it's just a pretty easy deal. They said it's, it's complete but it's just you know used. So that was the only downside from it. So let's open this first one up. Okay so the first set I got here is Star Wars Jedi Defense 2. Now, if my memory is correct, this came out, I want to say, 2002, maybe? So, it is very old. And the number is 7204, and I'm pretty sure it's like 45-ish pieces. So, this one actually is one of... Actually is one of my one of my all-time favorites. I remember getting this one. I remember getting the other one I got here. I got them both on the same day at the same store. And the crazy thing is about these... The crazy thing is... If I remember correctly, I got these at Kohl's, which is pretty, like, like who would have thought, you know, Kohl's would have Legos. And a little, little quick story before I start building is, these two Lego sets here, if I, if my memory is correct, the reason uh, why I got them was, as, you know, as every, as, as every child is, they're always afraid of getting, you know, going to the doctor's office, getting the needles, their shots. So, my dad... Since I, I went to the doctor, I, I got my shots like like a big boy and didn't cry. Uh, he got me these these two Lego sets. So who would have thought those two first two Lego sets would turn into a you know a crazy a crazy thing? So I collected Legos for for I want to say about until maybe I was in high school. Around that time period, and I stopped for a while because, as a lot of people probably go through the same phase, like, oh, too cool for Star Wars, oh, I'm too cool for Legos, gotta, gotta do what the other kids are doing so you can blend in or whatever. So, I've come to the realization now, especially now, you know, everything's back now, it's like cool to be a nerd now, so... I really, I really miss uh, collecting Legos, and I'm really happy to be back and collecting Legos and taking pictures of them, and making the fan fictions. It means a lot to me. It's a lot of fun doing them. So now let's let's dive into this first build. Alrighty, guys. As you can see, we have our B1 battle droids here. They are honestly in absolutely really good condition, and I'm really happy on how these things still look, look brand new. So, now let's open up the other minifigure, and that is our Jedi, Jedi Master Qui-Gon Jinn. Now, Qui-Gon Jinn, me growing up, was actually my favorite Jedi, and I think the only reason why he was my favorite Jedi was because he had a green lightsaber. And 
One of my earliest Star Wars memories is watching The Phantom Menace in my living room and having a, I, I want to say his green lightsaber, but I remember having a green lightsaber and flinging it around like, like I was a Jedi Knight. And that's kind of how my Star Wars fandom kind of started. So when I was younger with the came to Legos, I had the idea in my head that I should glue glue them when I build. I don't know why we did this. I want to say we did this because they'll fall apart a lot. As you know, as a kid, you know, you play with them, they fall apart. Maybe because they're older. I don't know. Building my new stuff. I have a bunch of new stuff over here. That's why I keep pointing this way. I'm not pointing at random stuff. I want to show you the other stuff I got that I haven't built yet. For some reason, I like, I just wanted to glue them so they stay together. And all the new stuff, when I, it's like you... Like a lot of times I screw up when building something and you can't get it off. It's so freaking hard. Because I remember my, with my old Qui-Gon Jinn, I had actually his hair actually glued. So let's put the figures to the side. And let's uh, get building here. Man, these old sets, man. These old Lego sets. A lot of the new stuff, they show, they put a little picture on the side to tell you what pieces you need. And it's like these, it's just a picture there and you just kind of got to figure it out. But luckily this isn't a big one. And one, and speaking of Legos, one Lego set that I do love, I mean not Lego set, but game, is the Lego Star Wars games, man. Those, that, I remember those games and those games came out when that first one came out. I like freaked out when I got that game for Christmas as, as younger. It's such an awesome game, especially that you're doing something that you love, and it's part of the movie that you love, and you get to play Legos as a video game, as going through the movie. It was it it was mind blowing stuff, mind blowing. A little update here, as you guys can see, we're pretty much done. We got we're on pretty much on the last page. I just wanted to give an update and kind of give kind of few thoughts on this the one thing i i did i've noticed so far you can definitely you can definitely tell that these these are definitely aged age looking uh things legos but for overall they're in pretty good shape i would say i mean i don't really know what aging is until i really get back into looking at my old legos you're in the attic I definitely have videos planned with those and the stories and what they mean about me. So definitely stay tuned to those as well. But these seem to be aging okay. I picked these picked these up at BrickLink.com. If you guys don't know what BrickLink.com is, what it basically is, is it's a Lego site where people sell their used stuff or or new stuff because they, you know a lot of people like to buy multiple things and then sell them, which I don't like. I don't like when people do that. Just buy one. You know, it, I want there to be a chance for everyone to get get. Get Lego sets. So I just want to give that quick update. Let me finish this build and I'll pick this thing right back up. Alrighty guys, we're back. The Lego set is finished. As you can see, it's a pretty it's a pretty simple one. You know, it's a good introduction set. So this was a definitely good first set that I've gotten. And the figures look the figures are in great shape. Qui-Gon's looking badass. We got B the B1 battle droids looking good. We got the red B1 battle droid looking good. We got the old fashioned gun looking here. Look at this. You got you got the little door here, like from episode one. It was a really it was a quick fun little set to build. So it's a lot of fun. I put this to the side here. Got my little guys over here. Pretty awesome stuff. I love this thing. I definitely do plan on taking some pictures of these. Um, so now let's let's move on to the second set. Oh, uh, before we do. I just like give you a quick little picture that's in the end of the uh, of the book. This is going to be the next one that I have in this box right over here. This is Jedi Defense 2. And the Jedi Defense 1 is you get two Jureticas and then you get Paddle and Obi-Wan Kenobi. So that's pretty cool. I've actually never, I've never gotten these two sets here. These two I've never gotten. So maybe I, I'll pick those up in the future. Who knows? So now let, let's let's move on to the second set. Alrighty guys, here's the second set. Now let's break this box open here and let's get started on this. So this one actually, the baby figures do actually come already assembled. So we'll put this baggie here. We got the kid's order number, the person that I picked it up from, from Berkeley.com. 
put this garbage to the side. Just open up the directions. You know the same, the same thing over here. And as you can see, this one is called Star Wars Final Duel One. The number is seven two two zero. Here's the directions for it right here. Put that up there. So and also another same thing with this one. This one we picked uh, we picked up in the same store as I was telling you guys that story that story earlier. This is my second set. I don't remember which one I built first or second. I'm pretty sure the one I got right here, the final duel one, actually was the first one I built, and then I and then we built the other one after that. So let's get started on this one. So here are here's the emperor with mini finger here. He's looking pretty good. He's in good shape. Kind of this, as you can see with the pieces here, it's not a lot of pieces. Obviously, it's it's, it's a small set, but you can see they're aged pretty like like how the other one here. So they're in pretty pretty good shape. We got Lord Vader right over here. He's looking spectac spectacular. We got the emperor. The emperor, you know, he's got the as I was saying before the yellow skin. But if you take off Vader's mask here. You can see that he his face is actually gray, so that's a little different. And my and he did have a gray face in the original one, so I'm not getting duped out here. So don't worry, guys. But Vader's looking good, and the capes are in very good shape as well. So now let's let's move on and finish the rest of the set. guys as you can see it's set the amp it's looking pretty dope whoop, whoop, the chair moves we got vader over here you know it's looking pretty good it's a it, you know it's a it, it's a fun first set that's that's what it comes down to it's a fun first set so as you guys can see right here they look very good they're all in very good shape vader's looking fire the emperor's looking good in his at his throne and hopefully we see you in a few months in episode 9. So, that's pretty much it for the, uh, for the Lego sets here. For the first episode of Tommy's Legos. We got that one here. So now, let me hop back onto the 6400. And I'll show you, and I want to tell you guys the last thing I want to say before I close Alright guys, I'm back on the, on the Sony A6400. And before I say, I really love Legos. And I really hope you guys can see and understand as we go along in in this new new uh in this new segment we got going on here and you can guys can see how much legos mean to me and i'm very happy that i'm collecting them again it's definitely i've definitely missed i've definitely missed playing well not playing like i used to play but the adult form of playing as i call it, with my photography i call it the adult way of playing with legos uh, yeah, I, I really miss this a lot. It's a, it's, it's a really fun going down memory. It was pretty cool going down memory lane while building these Lego sets. But I do have three over here, the three I get. And they're probably going to be the next three building episodes of Tommy's Legos. So let me grab the first one over here. And then we got the new 20th anniversary set of the um, Anakin's Pod Racer. And I do have... I have the other two so far, and there's one I still don't have, but I've already built all those. But I'll, I'll be talking about those Legos in other, in other episodes. But this one's pretty cool. The only one I need that I have left to get is the Slave 1. So that is the next Lego set I do plan on buying. And then after that, I, I, I've told myself I'm going to start saving for the Episode 9 stuff. There's nothing else out there that really has my interest other than... You know, the Holy Grail, and that is the ultimate collector's edition of the Millennium Falcon. I do plan on getting that, and I do plan on getting that before the year ends out. I'm not entirely sure when I would actually build that. Because that Lego set's like 10,000 pieces, I want to say. Maybe 7,000-ish, around there. So that Lego set is a lot of fun. And also, as we go along, along in these episodes, you're going to be seeing my dad do, like, kind of continue on the father-son tradition. So like like the smaller stuff I'm gonna be building myself, but the bigger one I have a pretty decent size one over here. Like the really big ones is the one where me and him are gonna be doing them. So let's 
move on to the next one here. And I got this one here. Got this cool Kashyyyk one that actually comes with a really cool clone. That's why I kind of picked it out. But I think this one's very cool looking. I've actually had this one for a little bit. I just haven't gotten around to building it yet. This one should be a blast to build as they all are. And I really can't wait to getting to this one. So then now, we got the biggest one I got. And that is the Millennium Falcon Kessel Run Edition from Solo A Star Wars Story. So you can see it right there. This one I actually picked up in Walmart a few weeks ago. And I'll explain the story on this when we get to the episode of me building this one. So this one actually does come with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven minifigures. So that's that's very good. I really do like having a lot of minifigures. The minifigures are fun to take pictures of. So this one should be a blast to build. And I actually saw a picture of this one compared to the Alter Ultimate Collector's Edition of the Millennium Falcon. And man, oh man, the size difference is insane. But yeah, that's the third one I got. Every, all the other ones I've gotten so far, when I, excuse me, all the other ones I've gotten so far, since I started back collecting, or have already been built. I've actually had this segment in my head for a while when I started collecting them. I, I planned on doing only the big ones, but I've actually decided I want to do videos on the small ones as well. Kind of give my opinions on the small ones, you know, if you want to get just get into Legos or something like that. It's definitely a very fun hobby. Um, I do, I do, if you love building stuff, I really recommend playing with Legos. It's a lot of fun to do, especially if you go, go on your own, you can use your imagination, your, use your use your head and everything, you can build, you know, you can build some custom stuff. So definitely let me know, know in the comment section down below how much you guys love Legos or if you hate Legos or if you think I'm trying to bring back my childhood on starting to collect Legos again. Definitely let me know your thoughts and thoughts and opinions in the comment section down below because everyone has a voice. This isn't just my cha my channel, it's your guys' channel as well. So I definitely want to know your guys' opinion. So that wraps up today's episode of Tommy's Legos. If you like this video, please make sure you smash that like button and if you want to see more cool videos like these, please consider subscribing. Alrighty guys, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!